her subconscious. <laughs> Colonial days, Beauty and the Beast, Mary Poppins, Project Adventure, Old Beth Page Village, The Cradle of Aviation Museum, and Phil's PJ Cinema. <laughs> And then, the dream turned into a nightmare. Judging the spelling bee, watching the talent show, teaching 75 students science in one room, breaking the cookie jar, and the infamous trip to the Christmas Carol, December 3rd, 2002. Okay, so picture this. The snow begins to fall at Ronkonkoma train station as the youngsters begin to arrive. It was a perfect day for a trip to a Christmas carol at Madison Square Garden. The snow did not cease and Sachem Central School District had an early dismissal. As we sat and enjoyed the show, as the fake snow began to fall onto the audience, over a hundred of Tecumseh's finest filed in the dark, mind you, hand in hand, through the back secret wave of Penn Station to our train. That was leaving now. Um, so after a frantic rush, we pulled away from Penn Station. Everyone, all tucked in their seats. A few moments later, a teacher, who shall remain nameless, informed Mrs. Ornstein that a parent and two youngsters were unaccounted for. Uh, the story ends happily with everyone safe and sound, but who would tell Mr. Newfeld? Mm -hmm. but, but to quote Mrs. Ornstein, this was the hardest phone call she's ever had <laughs> to make. Absolutely true. <laughs> <laughs> While tossing and turning, acronyms danced in her head. ESL, oh PDP, CSE, IST, RTI, FNP, GATE, DBQ, ELA, IEP. <laughs> As the acronyms disappeared, new letters appeared. Visions of Mr. Newfeld's desk. The organized chaos jolted her from her slumber. <laughs> Then Mrs. Ornstein woke up, grabbed her inhaler, <laughs> took a deep breath and shouted, Adios, Tecumseh, Bo Barcelona, here I come. Yes. 